Howdy folks, this is Doc Mostache, the Dean of Nerd U, Never Ending Reversion of Diabetes University, or if you prefer, the Dean of U Nerd, University of Never Ending Reversion of Diabetes. Either way it works. This is the fourth in a fifth part series. Okay, the first three were the good, the bad, and the ugly. The HDL, LDL, and A1C. This was the first three parts of a five part on blood work and what numbers and measurements are important to us. This is a quick fourth video and this one is about your average daily sugar reading. The difference between A1C and your average daily sugar reading is the daily sugar reading. This is what you're getting hit with each and every day. You want to get this close to 100, maybe even a little better, but shoot for 100 for, for now. Mine at one point was close to 400. So massive improvements can be made and they make a huge difference. The A1C is a measurement over time a concept of covering two to three months at once and gives you an overall reading in comparison to a daily. Both are very interlocked, interlaced, and important. We want both of them to get better. Okay, this is again real quick. For your average blood sugar on a daily basis, you for the most part want to try to stay between 90 and 110 milligrams per deciliter. 200 and above you are classified diabetic. So if you're there we got to improve it. Normal for adults fasting. Fasting is having only water as an intake for at least eight hours. Fasting your average blood sugar should be 100 or less. One to two hours after consuming a meal you want your blood sugar to be 180 or less once you've had time to digest. Before bedtime your blood sugar should be somewhere between 100 and 140. Low sugar in the blood. This is known as hypoglycemia. Low is hypo. High blood sugar is hyperglycemia. Low is hypo. High is hyper. Neither one is good. We don't want either. We want to stay within our window. Also, a quick note, coffee and caffeine can and will raise your blood sugar. Again, this is Dean Mostache, Doc Mostache of Nerd U, about to be signing off. Our next and last in the series of blood work to uh, join the the good, the bad, and the ugly. Along, it, hey, I couldn't find a five title thing unless I went to Star Wars, and trust me, we'll get to that for something else. Uh-oh. These things happen in show business. The mustache is a prop, just so you, you're aware. Our next episode will be on triglycerides. That's a big one. It's important. Again, we need all of these lipids. We need LDL, HDL, triglycerides, but we need them in the right numbers. Okay, thank you very much. This is Doc Mostache, Dean of Nerd U, signing off. Talk to you next time.